Hi guys, welcome back. It's Don Wazzy here, and in today's video, I bring you the best way to reduce input lag on any controller except from the PS4 DualShock 4 version 2. Um, I just want to say that you do this at your own risk because there, there can be complications in your controller um, when doing this type of method. So, you know, just bear that in mind that you do this at your own risk. So without further ado, we're going to get into the video and I'm going to show you how to uh, reduce the input delay on your controller. So guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is download two bits of software and the links for these two will be in the description. The first bit of software is anti-micro and a lot of YouTubers did use this originally for scroll wheel reset on controller until they found out about the benefits it has for input delay and then the next bit of software is the overclocking software that you've probably seen most youtubers use to overclock their controllers so you're going to want to open the overclocking software once you've done that you will go to devices and click all find your controller most controllers have a b interval of four or five if you still cannot or still do not understand which is your controller then what you're going to want to do is unplug your controller plug it back in and see which one goes missing now once once you're in here you're going to want to click find your controller click on it click filter on device change the polling rate down here to 500 click install service and then restart And once it's restarted, you will see the B interval has now changed to two, which means we have two milliseconds of delay. And most of you will be wondering why I did not change it to 1000, which most YouTubers do. Well, a lot of people have been reporting when they do the overclock that um, the analog sticks then become delayed. And the reason for this is that most controllers cannot um, handle and become unstable at 1000 hertz so that is the reason that your analog sticks have have become delayed if you are one of them people and the only way to fix it is to reverse the overclock by clicking default install service and tick filter on devices off but even then some people have reported that they have delay in their analog sticks so in 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 case of that then you, all you all you can do really is change the USB port that your device is plugged into. That is the only other way. And also another thing, if you ha have a DualShock 4 version 2 controller via Bluetooth, do not overclock at all. <clears throat> do not use any overclocking software. You do not need to. The delay on the DualShock 4 version 2 via Bluetooth is the best and most stable connection you can get from what I have tested on controllers. So, and also I just want to say that if you are using this software, you do this at your own risk. Do not blame me if your controller breaks. Because um, overclocking anything can uh, break your device so just bear that in mind before you decide to do this so once you've overclocked your controller to 500 hertz you're going to want to open anti-micro once you've opened anti-micro i'll set a new profile you're going to want to set a new profile first thing you do is go to options and settings change the gamepad poll rate to 1ms Click minimize to taskbar, auto load last open profile and associate profiles. And on the bottom here, you're going to want to enable this, the key repeat and move the delay down to the bottom and the rate down to the bottom. Select OK and then save your profile as anything you want. So I'm going to save it as just right, QWERTY or QW, save it. So that's my QW profile. The next thing you are going to want to do is go to the bottom and click controller mapping. As you can see here, the current axis detection dead zone is set at 20,000. You're going to want to move that all the way down to 8,000 and click save. 
Once you go back in, it will be set to 20,000 again, but don't worry, this really does work. Just every time you open that, you're going to want to, you know, set it to 8,000. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to your stick dead zones, like right stick and left stick. Make sure that these are set to 8,000 and do not adjust these. And every time you adjust something, you're going to want to save your profile layer. Another thing you can do for input delay is on the left and right triggers. Click it. Change the dead zone down to the bottom. And on this setting here where it says positive half throttle, you're going to want to change that to normal. Close. Click yes and save. Do the same with the opposite trigger. And save. And now... Another tip for reducing input delay in anti-micro. Um, I did not feel no difference when doing this, so it might be a placebo effect, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers using this method as well. You're gonna wanna click any key, or you're gonna wanna do it with all of them if you wanna do this method. Click the key, click turbo, go to advanced, click turbo again on the left-hand side, and where it says delay, you're going to want to drag this bar all the way down to the bottom, close, close again, and then save. And that is how you reduce input delay on any controller other than a PS4, DualShock 4, version 2. That's how you reduce input delay the most and the best possible way to where you don't get uh, analog stick delay. So if you like this video, um, leave a like, subscribe and if you have any questions please feel free to comment and I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys, bye.